It is 2018. We are continuing with our Predator Mania streak. I just can't believe it. I can't get enough of Predator and I just keep pulling boxes off the shelf and open them. It is time for Sideshow Collectibles Elder Predator Statue Unboxing. I have had this bad boy sitting on a shelf for a long time. I bought this actually from another collector years back. It's all about timing. I always like to open certain things at a certain time. And now is the time. Got our top. You know, Sideshow just always has some of the best art boxes on the planet. That is just a great shot right there. Back, of course, you've got a nice full view. This was just such an iconic moment in Predator 2 where he pulls out that flintlock pistol and presents it to Mike Kerrigan, aka Danny Glover. I did, of course, get the exclusive. So, there, this is number 61 of 300. And the regular edition, I believe there was 1,500. The exclusive comes with a separate Xenomorph Skull Trophy, which kind of sits alongside on its own side base, which I thought was pretty cool. There's always those first few moments when I open it up that I get super nervous. So the base has got good weight. I believe this is considered a fifth scale should be 19 inches tall and very nice. I always love this stuff. All right, so it looks like I was off on my edition size. I thought I think at Sideshow they said there was 300. This is showing 61 of 325. Nice low number. I love the, the graphic at the bottom. The base itself, detail-wise, is nice. It's sharp. It, there's little nuances here where the lettering, the symbols, and the Predator language do have a slight red accent. I like that. And here's a moment of truth. I always get super nervous when pulling out the main body of these. You've got a lot of delicate stuff here with the dreads. Decent weight. I do like that. It's what I expect from a statue of this size from Sideshow trying to be super careful because this guy has got just tons of small details and bones uh, that are kind of adorning him. The connection feels very secure. I'm not worried about him going anywhere. Well, detail on this looks good. This, of course, is the hand with the pistol. Got his cannon. The standalone base for the Xenomorph skull looks nice. Nice detailing on that. So we have a second cannon. I have to see if it's like an alternate pose or a, a, a replacement in case something happens. And we have two different blades for his machete that's held in his left hand. Here's something that we are no stranger to here is a xenomorph skull the detailing on this is superb i mean it this is spot on for a xenomorph skull it does have some frailty or delicateness to it at least appearance wise and i'm sure it is it survived shipping exceptionally well so kudos to sideshow for providing their packaging and then of course the collector that we purchased this from for making sure everything went back into it in perfect order. So we thank you for that. That's great. This is fantastic. All the detailing on here, he has so many different nuances where he has adorned himself with trophies, with all the little bones uh, from his conquests. Just fantastic detail on this. We, of course, have this necklace back there on the mask, the ceremonial mask. So we're going to put the flintlock in place. 
Magnet, of course, with Sideshow. They're always known for doing their magnets. Both of the cannons look identical, so I certainly don't anything going to happen to the the cannon. But if something does, it's it's certainly nice to have a a backup. The two blades, I believe, screen accuracy dictates this. But boy, even the detail on this hand, I mean, all the creases and wrinkles on the knuckles, um, even the little skull that's part of the hilt. This would be screen accurate. This may be something more ceremonial. I'm sure there's some history on that. You can see the level of detail on this is really, really good. I'm trying not to be too picky. It's one of those things where I think they did a phenomenal job overall. The pose is great, the, the, the way they presented it is good, but it's there's like certain inconsistencies, like they were super attention to detail on certain areas and then completely just threw something aside. Um, the one thing that really kind of troubled me the most was there's definitely an obvious scene where the mandibles are attached, and, and I understand the construction of it, but yet we the way this was designed was differently and it's blended more in it's probably right there and hidden in plain sight i think the paint job is good of course better than i could do but i almost feel it's it's kind of washed out if that makes any sense if, if you look at just the portrait on the on the box versus him that that has it's it's warmer looking it looks more living than this this looks more like a canvas a well done canvas that i can't come close to doing myself but these are all small small areas of detail mixed media would have been nice and having actual uh, fabric leather pleather for the loincloth area and perhaps on the sheath you know but these are all minor things they're picky like almost super overly critical and i shouldn't be this is a great piece. I love it. It's got good weight, good size, perfect pose. Love what you're depicting here with the presentation of the flintlock pistol. Love the Predator. I think they did a good job on the sculpt. We're not going to talk about those seams. Uh, paint job could be a little better, but for what this is, I think this was worth the money. I believe these were about $2.99 when they came out years ago. I love the addition of the Xenomorph Skull. I, I recommend it. So there's 325 of these and about 1,500 of the regular edition, which basically is everything you see here, minus the Xenomorph Skull. And I'm not sure if there's some significance to the swap out blade and the extra cannon. If you come across one in the future, and you have the means, I, I would definitely recommend picking it up. It's not a must have for your Predator collection, but if you have that much space someplace and you can get this at a good price, I would definitely say it's worth it. I'm gonna, I will display this with pride, absolutely. I think it's a great piece, and my criticisms, I think, are me just being super critical. Especially, you know, I think I've my judgment is being slightly impaired by looking at what the, the P1 maquette was, which was fantastic. Again, minus a few quirks there. So, love the piece. Details fantastic. Quirks aside, really, really cool. So on that note, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. And as Kendra always says, until next time, stay weird.